Hey guys, welcome back to the hillside here for just a quick little video. I'm going to show you how you can turn an old fish tank into a tropical plant propagator. So it's really not rocket science, guys. This uh, old uh, fish tank, I think someone had a lizard or a snake in it. Uh, they're throwing it away and I decided I was going to take it to repurpose it to uh, propagate my tropical plants. Now, one thing you can tell by this, uh, all the condensation on the glass here, Tropical plants require high humidity for um, the cuttings and or seeds really to just germinate and do well to begin with, okay? Now I will show you a little bit closer up whenever uh, I get to uh, opening up the fish tank here, but you can kind of tell some of my uh, pitcher plants back here from cuttings, uh, they're doing well so far. But yeah, so definitely when you're propagating tropical plants, a lot of times your cuttings are going to fail because they require high humidity. Okay, and people just typically don't have the inside of their homes are really prepared for that kind of uh, the kind of humidity level that these plants really need. So taking a, an old fish tank like this and just uh, repurposing it is a great idea. So let me go ahead and take the top off of this thing and show you uh, what it looks like on the inside and talk about the growing medium that I like to use for this purpose. All right, so let's go ahead and take the lid off of this. And like I said, you can do this as cheaply as possible. If you want to get a nice, like, hard plexiglass or something to kind of make it a uh, permanent, more of a lid, uh, I just use this old plastic, like, cling wrap, like you use in the kitchen, right? It seems to do just fine. It's just a couple layers kind of, uh, you know, overlap to make a nice little seal. Um, and it's doing wonderful. Now, if you hear, like I said before, these are my pitcher plants as it's raining condensation everywhere but they're doing healthy they are super green super uh actually even right here i just noticed right here you can see through the raindrops right there a new growth is coming out so that's uh that's uh proof positive that this does work and you can propagate your tropicals and your uh sensitive plants in this manner and right here these are from some uh these are from a tropical tree i forget the exact name of it i'll leave a link down below but it has these beautiful pink uh, flowers i think it's like trumpet flowers or something like that they're tropical and they're growing uh wonderful there's high germination rate i mean look at that that's 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 ridiculous how high the germination rate is on this and uh actually you can kind of tell right here some that have kind of worked themselves out of the soil but here are some uh palm palm seedlings that need to get kind of put back underneath the uh the soil there but anyhow uh the growing medium i use for this is about 90 percent coconut coir or cocoa fiber mixed with a little bit of vermiculite and a little bit of perlite well, more perlite than vermiculite, really, just to, you really want this, uh, this medium to stay nice and fluffy. You don't want it to get waterlogged. Uh, that being said, you can, if you want, down here on the bottom, which I did not, you could put a layer of gravel to kind of help with the, uh, the drainage. In hindsight, I may, uh, may want to do that if I ever clean this tank out and, you know, rebuild the system, but, um, just don't overwater. I have yet to water this. I soaked it nice, not sopping wet, but just nice and solid, uh, moisture, uh, leave the the let, let the plastic wrap on top, and it has been doing fantastic. Like I said, this is uh, showing you exactly how it's done. It's really simple. You can make it as basic as you want, and there you go. Set yourself up for some success. So if you're having trouble with your tropical plants rooting or dying on you or just not taking, it's probably because the lack of humidity, okay? Uh, can you propagate other things this way? Uh, go ahead and give it a shot. Some things may actually mold, uh, may not like the actual excess humidity. You have to kind of play around with it, okay? So this is what I recommend for tropical, tropical plants, okay? You're recreating the tropical environment, hot, humid. And this is out on my front porch. It gets a little bit of morning sun, but it's shaded from the, uh, the rest of the, you know, rest of the uh, midday sun. I mean, you see I got plants all around me. And this little, uh, this little fish tank's just kind of hanging out here right next to the house with the plastic wrap doing just fine. So here's a quick little tip for you guys, help you with your tropical plant propagation. Hopefully it helps. If you have an old fish tank uh, someone's tossing out, uh, definitely try to repurpose it for this method. You will not be disappointed. All right, guys, so for more gardening tips, please check back the next time I post something here on the hillside. Until then, y'all be good. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.